Hi, I'm Ellie Grisson. I study the sociology of life sciences, computing, and related topics. My talk today is uh, focused on the organizational considerations that come into play uh, when we want to think about the way um, bi basic research in biology on the one hand and engineering work, development work on the other can come together to produce new kinds of things. There are four basic problems that I want to look at. First, there's an important difference between intersection and integration. In an in intersection, different specialties take notice of one another and address the same class of problems, but they don't rely on one another or interfere with one another. In integration, by contrast, uh, multiple specialties depend on one another to get their work done in joint projects and must take one another into account and cooperate in a very detailed way. So for example, joint projects have budgets and schedules and other kinds of joint constraints that have to be respected if the work is to be completed successfully. These two things present very different problems of organization and understanding. Second, specialties often differ in the ways they think and they have different conventions and procedures for organizing what they do and how they do it. The different ways of work working can be conceptualized as multiple interdependent workflows each a series of steps that contribute to the project as a whole. Understanding integration, therefore, means analyzing the ways in which the differing workflows can be or are or are not effectively reconciled in order to complete the projects. Third, understanding uh, the reconciliation of differences amongst the various aspects of the technical work includes looking at different ways of modeling and theorizing, different ways of collecting and analyzing data, different ways of characterizing phenomena, and different ways of formulating problem agendas. All of those are themselves very complex problems, and they can lead to many different kinds of problems. Fourth, Different ways of organizing and coordinating work in different contexts has to be integrated with established organizations that are providing resources and basis uh, of assembly for the projects involved. Uh, basic research in academia is very different from advanced development in industry. Uh, they, the two have very different kinds of time and budget uh, considerations, for example, even for basic research projects and a very different kinds of concerns with intellectual property rights. Uh, they also have different kinds of regulatory regime uh, for personnel and other kinds of issues. Uh, they have different kinds of relationship with funders, with suppliers of equipment, materials, and software, with customers, and with workers who are often students. So I have a very different relationship with uh, academic situations. And finally, they have uh, different kinds of relations with hobbyists. For industry, hobbyists are typically end users and customers. For academia, they are often contributors or even sponsored. So they have to be dealt with in very different ways. The need to think about both intersection and integration separately and together, the need to consider multiple different workflows interacting in pretty complex ways with one another in very different kinds of context, the need to consider the flow of multiple kinds of work as they interact with one another, all these considerations together present a very extensive series of challenges to SDS and to policy analysis. Thank you.